It's been said that whatever we lose, we always find ourselves in the sea. And in the historic tiny town of Vienna, Dorchester County, Maryland's former self has been found buried in sediment and has come to the surface to answer questions long held. The day you find a shipwreck in the waters of Maryland is a monumentous equation. I mean, it's, you don't get much better than this. On the other side of Maryland's shore, scientists have made a home for the 18th century shipwreck in an above ground swimming pool in St. Leonard, Calvert County. Well, this, this is one of the ship's frames, floor timbers. It would have fit right on top of the keel and the The keel. husband and wife team of State Chief Archaeologist Julie Shablitsky and Navy underwater archaeologist Bob Nealon have been studying it all summer since it was found during repair work under the US 50 bridge in Vienna. They began to notice that some of the long pieces of wood looked to be old, perhaps even shipwreck like. And so at that, that point, the inspector gave us a call and said, listen, I think we have something spectacular here. And then they put this repair piece in here, and you can see it very clearly. The shipwreck was actually discovered back in the spring here on the Nanticoke River. But state officials kept it very quiet until they knew exactly what treasure they had found. They are dating it back to late 18th century Maryland, likely built at a small shipyard or plantation. They believe it was a cargo ship fastened with wooden pegs. And looks something like this, and may have measured 45 feet long. A study of the timber shows the ship was made mostly from oak, from trees gathered somewhere between Annapolis and Potomac. This may be the, the, the literal smoking gun then. A visible charring of the wood may indicate it was burned at the hands of British sympathizers in the 1780s. So this is a dead eye. It would have been part of a block and pulley system. A small number of artifacts have been recovered, and the shipwreck itself will be vacuum freeze dried in the Maryland Archaeology Conservation Lab. It's kind of like the sponge sitting on the side of your sink. It starts to warp and shrink and crack and distort, and we lose that dimensional information, which was so important to the archaeologists. <laughs> Back in Vienna, Tom Bradshaw heard the big news in his general store. With English ancestors dating back 300 years, he is nothing short of tickled. It gives us one more piece of the puzzle to find out what was going on here, what life was like. A puzzle piece that may never have been found, raising the question, is there more of us to discover under these waters?